Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well. So today is Monday, guys, the beginning of a new work week. And today is going to be a busy day. Oh, can you notice? Have you noticed anything different? I curled my hair, guys. Do you like it? I don't know what to think right now. I really don't. It's kind of like, I'm not used to this. <laughs> So anyways, today's going to be a busy week. I have, well today's going to be a busy day. Let me see what I have going on on my calendar today. So today at noon, I have to leave here to go to a carrier meeting. They're rolling out their new plans for next year. So I'm going to go to that meeting. And then I have a three o'clock meeting as well to talk to a clinic that's not too far from here. To partner with them um what else i have today i'm going to make phone calls early this morning i have people that i need to return their calls from over the weekend i don't know i get a lot of leads throughout the weekend for some reason so that's that for this morning i went ahead and threw out my flowers that i had because they're pretty much dead now but i do want to water my plants so i'm gonna do that Go ahead and check my emails and before I do that of course I'm going to make sure everything is clean which it pretty it looks pretty good like the doors still look good the bathroom looks good so anyway it's gonna water my plant this plant is doing really well as you guys can see just add some water So that's that and yeah guys so I do have a question before I start the vlog for this week what do you want to see in these vlogs as a viewer what do you want to see also the what it takes series do you like those series when I actually interview other agents I'm thinking about interviewing other industries as well you know other side hustles other businesses I think that would be really cool to add that to the channel I really want to turn this channel to a business channel I feel like that's where my journey and my life is leading me more business related things so I'm thinking that's where I want my channel to grow into because I want to do what I'm passionate about if I'm doing something that I'm passionate about I feel like I would enjoy that content more. I feel like I would enjoy making that content and you know, find people that's also like want to see that content as well. So please let me know what you guys want to see because obviously I want to put out content that you guys want to watch and that you guys enjoy. And let me know what you think about my hair. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it quite yet. I was just getting ready to do a TikTok video this morning. Let me show you guys. I was going to talk about when and how to apply for Medicare. So as I'm getting ready to set up and do the video, a young couple walks in. So the husband needed health insurance. So I just wrote him a policy for a private um, health insurance policy. Just did that. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into HubSpot, put all the information in. It's almost 11 and I have to get ready for the carrier meeting for 12 while i was in the appointment my phone rang i excused myself i answered i have an appointment wednesday for someone <clears throat> that's on medicare <clears throat> i'm thinking that the luxury of me leaving the office i'm not going to be able to do that because people are like calling now people are walking in so i'm gonna have to hire somebody it is what it is. I'm going to have to hire somebody because the business, I'm getting business, which is a good thing. But I'm in this funny, like weird stage where I feel like I can't afford to hire someone, but I feel like I can't afford not to either in order for me to grow, if that makes any sense. Because someone needs to be here at all times or I'll be missing business. It's getting to the point where I need to be here, but it's not like people are coming in here every hour of the hour. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like in that funny stage where I'm like, 
I don't want to leave the office because I could be missing opportunity. But I'm like, I don't have enough clients to really hire a full-time staff. Whew, I'm like in the middle of it all. <laughs> so anyway, let me go ahead and put in my notes and HubSpot. And I didn't even get a chance to eat yet. It is almost 11. All right, just wanted to tell you guys that. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye. Oh. <laughs>just came from one of the insurance company's events it was really good basically they gave us all the plan details for the coming year and the plans are looking really good i'm excited hi guys <laughs> but today is tuesday wanted to pop on here really quick so today is one of those days where i know i'm going to be really really busy so i just want to come on here and let you guys know how my day is going so it's almost 11 o'clock. I just got done with an appointment. So this morning, one of my clients came in. They came in at 9. And I just wanted to help them get all their stuff set up. So I helped them with their carrier member services login. I also helped them get into the portal for them to order their over-the-counter products. And they can also go to the CVS as well. So we found them a location they could go to. So they're all set up. So I'm happy for that. I also have an appointment at 12. So I have about an hour left to eat. And I have about three quotes that's waiting for my attention. One is Medicare and two Obamacare. And my 12 o'clock is for Obamacare as well. So pretty busy day and I just wanted to pop on here and say hello <laughs> so anyways that's it guys I'm gonna go ahead and eat and start working on my quotes until my 12 o'clock appointment anyways I'll see you guys later bye today is Wednesday today is going to be a long day for me so starting out this morning I have a nine o'clock call so someone's going to be calling me at 9. They want to do like a referral resource type of thing with me. So I'm going to listen to what they have to say. They also sell insurance, but they don't sell Medicare or anything like that. So I definitely want to hear what she has to say. She reached out to me from LinkedIn. What else do I have to do today? Um, I have a 3.30 appointment. Whenever someone wants to like see me after their working hours, then Wednesday and Thursdays are those days because I work later on those days. Um, what else? Oh, today I have to go see a client at her home. She's my current client. She's having some issues. So I want to go ahead and help her out, see what I could do to help her. So she needs 
a dermatologist and she's thinking that she needs to switch her plan which is fine so I'm gonna go see her get the list of her medications and make sure I update my CRM and see what I can do for her she lives close to where I live so I'm gonna just go to her house after work today so that's pretty much it I'm gonna go ahead and start with my email I have some emails that I need to get back to I don't know a lot of people like to like ask me questions late at night <laughs> or during the weekend so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that respond to emails have some breakfast get ready for this nine o'clock call and get ready for my day I just wanted to pop on here because I feel like I haven't been able to pop on oh tomorrow my upline slash mentor for ACA is coming tomorrow so that would be exciting he's gonna show me some things help me with marketing and things like that so Alrighty guys, so that was a very good call. So this girl, she found me on LinkedIn and she sells private insurance. She's a captive agent, but she sells private insurance with, I'm not going to say the carrier name because I don't say carrier names, <laughs> but um, yeah, but she needs someone to, you know, refer their clients, say the private insurance is a little too costly, say they're more suitable for ACA, Obamacare. She's going to refer them to me. And of course, if that person has insurance with her and say she sent the spouse over for Medicare, I told her I would be loyal to her. I would not discuss private insurance with anyone that she refers to me. And of course, if someone, I kind of sell what she sells as well, so I won't be able to refer to her per se but anyone that she refers to me and already have her product i will not cross the line and you know keep my word and integrity i would not discuss private insurance with them i would just discuss what she referred to me such as hey this person need help with aca this person need helps with medicare this person needs help with life insurance so i think that's a good partnership so i'm excited to you know connect with her i just want to share what the conversation how the conversation went like I said she found me on LinkedIn wanted to connect with me because on my LinkedIn profile it says that I'm a Medicare advisor or whatever it says I can't remember what it says on there exactly but she doesn't do Medicare shows she wanted to partner with me so anyways that was that Thursday afternoon it is 5 30 p.m. to be exact today was a very good busy marketing day so in the morning, I had my upline for ACA come in. He showed me how to do some marketing online, gave me some tips, great, great meeting. And I also had a clinic come see me as well. She just left really, really, really great ideas, really great marketing and partnership collaboration that we're gonna be doing super super excited now i'm getting ready to go to this after event going to do that and then i'm gonna go home so basically i got this from my meeting that i just had and i'm going to go to a block party at the hours um i'm looking at the flyer yeah, so I'm going to go to this block party at the hours. There's wine. I don't drink wine, coffee, food, and fun from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. All right, guys, we're going to the block party. Hello. How are you? Good.
today is Friday. I have not popped on here all day. It's like 1.30. <laughs> so I decided let me pop on here and talk to you guys. So today has been a really good day. It's more like an Obamacare day today, right? A lot of Obamacare insurance. So anyway, so someone called me today and they were like, hi, my name is William. I just say his name because it's such a common name. So anyway, so William calls and he's like, hi, I, okay, so William calls, right? He's like, I searched the internet. All I put was medical insurance and you popped up. So he called me, thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. <laughs> I've been working on that Google, my business for sure. So I deserve that call. So anyway, so he calls and I give him a quote, right? And he's like, mm, it sounds too good to be true. I don't know about this. This don't sound right. <laughs> so I was explaining him. I was like, well, this is what it is. A lot of people still don't know that, you know, Obamacare is out here. So I'm really trying to like promote it because a lot of people still don't know. So he was like, I can't believe that. All I'm paying is this, 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 that. I'm like, well, this is what it is. <laughs> so he's like, I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back because I have family members that have Obamacare. I'm going to ask them first. So he calls his family member, right? I think he calls his sister. And she's like, you can't enroll in Obamacare until November. <laughs> so he calls me back and he's like, um, I, I can't enroll in Obamacare until November. I'm like, Mr. William, your income is on the low end. You qualify for a special subsidy that's going on right now, a special enrollment period. Yes, you can enroll right now. <laughs> so he's like, okay, what's my out-of-pocket max? And I say, Mr. William, your out-of-pocket max is only $1,500. So if something happened to me, that's all I would have to pay that year. I'm like, yes, Mr. William. So this is the plan that he's like, this is too good to be true. So I just want to show you guys the quote. But he went ahead and enrolled. And yeah, the plan sold him. I didn't have to sell him, okay? So here's the enrollment. Here's the, not the enrollment, but the quote that I gave him. Pretty good. So it's zero dollars per month. His deductible is zero. It's the silver plan. And he qualifies for the um the silver reduction. And I'll show you guys what that is. His max out of pocket is fifteen hundred. Doctor visits fifteen. Specialist is ten. Generic drugs is free. And I'll show you what the silver plan is. The silver plan plus the CSR, which is the cost sharing reduction. Click on this. It lowers the out of pocket expense, such as your deductibles, your co payments, and co insurance for the silver plans. And this was his household income. So, that's why he got that good, 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 good. <laughs> so I know how to search the plans when someone is low income. So it makes them like, hmm, Patricia, I don't know about this. This sounds too good to be true. I know, but it's true. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and eat me some lunch. I'm really hungry and and keep working of course i'm here to work right all right see you guys later bye <laughs> well hi guys today is saturday actually i'm here at the office i just wanted to shoot some videos i was so busy yesterday and i came out here to have lunch with some of my clients as well they asked me if they could um you know for us to have lunch um, during the week, but I was like, I can't and I seen the disappointment in their face. I felt so bad So I was like, okay, I'll come and have lunch with you guys Saturday, so that's why I'm here as well to have lunch with some of my clients and That is pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog guys Thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope I had a lot of action this week I was really busy didn't really pick up the camera as much so anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, peace and love. Bye, guys.
Things been moving slowly So we already in too deep Can't get no sleep On each other heavy Teasing all day And when the sun sets you at 